Hey everyone, Symbiote here, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Asylum Challenge Part 3. Yes, 3. Um, it is a lovely Riverview morning, and The Sims are up early. Um, Judy has not gotten out of bed yet, but I have a place in the bathroom snagged for her, so hopefully we'll have that opportunity, although it looks like somebody will be using the bathroom first. Um, Bart and Joseph have been playing uh, chess together all evening, and um, what was her name? Sharla and Bart spent some time getting to know each other, just chatting while they ate. These are wilting. I was actually thinking of having, um, I'm not going to have her do that actually, and I might just have her brush her teeth if she can't shower, um, but after she eats I'm thinking of having her really quickly um, just go out here and start a little bit of gardening maybe see if she can salvage some of this that Monica hasn't been attending to um, so actually let's see I have her yeah just harvest when she gets up she can take care of that let's see now According to the rules of the, the challenge, oh, slow down. According to the rules of the challenge, um, once per day, oh, there's a run on the bathroom. Once per day, I can pause the game and at, at like 12 a.m., I can go into the inventories of the other Sims and remove what it is that they have taken. Well, it seems like everybody's just getting really comfortable with being in the room with each other while they shower and all of that. So that's... <laughs> that's fine, I guess. Um, okay, so she's gonna eat and then go do some of that. Um, so yeah, I can get what they've they've taken out of their inventories and put it back, like books and my kleptomaniac Sim, um, Leanne, she she will probably have some fun stuff in her inventory later at some point but I checked and she didn't have anything interesting so yep Judy's gonna have some breakfast and Ernesto and um, Roosevelt were out there playing basketball okay what's she doing out here she's going upstairs where's she going okay I guess she's just going over here to check out these wheels and the sawhorse alright so she's fed and yeah, hopefully the, the garden plants don't die, but uh, if they do, we'll dispose of them and and maybe we can start another garden with planters inside for a little while through the winter. We'll have to see. She wants to learn the handiness skill, and I don't want her to get too dirty, but I think we'll just have her work on that for a little while. Because I think if we have... Yeah, if we have tomatoes and things like that. If we have some fruits and vegetables, it'll be good. And then later on, maybe she can work on... If her day's not so bad, she can work on weeding things. Or maybe Monica will take care of weeding things while we're gone. Alright, Monica and Leanne. Let's see, Monica got some food. Leanne's gonna get some food. We've got some leftovers. Hopefully they last a little while. Um, Bart is here, upset with... Uh, Roosevelt because he is in the bathroom. Yeah, they seem to all be... Oh yeah, he's trying to shoo him. So some of the sims have less... <laughs> Seven here. Bart's a dramatic sim. Um, so that's what that was. Some of the sims seem to have fewer problems with letting the other sims see them naked than, than others. So we'll have to see what comes of that. Alright, she's harvesting... Some plants. Yeah, and this garden's probably gonna die, which is too bad, because the family left it in good condition, but they rented out this place with the understanding that it would probably get trashed. So I think they're they're accepting of the idea that they'll probably have to plant new uh, a new garden. Everybody's just standing around talking to themselves. <laughs> Alright, she's still looking pretty okay. She works in four hours. 
Oh, Charla Sellers is starting to feel a bit ill. That's too bad. Okay. And... Monica's headed into the bathroom. He's heading... Out to the barn. What are they doing out there? They just keep coming out to look at stuff. Huh. Oh, I guess it's new and interesting and it's a bummer that there aren't any horses. Oh. <laughs> I'm in the void. Okay. Yeah, it's a bummer that there aren't any horses there. But no, they won't be having any horses. I don't think any of these people are responsible enough for a pet. Even though a therapy dog might be kind of funny. But I would worry too much about... I mean, it's not in line with the challenge. But even if I did decide to do it, I would worry too much about the the dog dying. Alright, he's coming out. Oh, and he's going to water handy. That'll be great if he can take care of that. She's arguing with the sink and acting like a dog. Yeah, they just tend to stand around and argue with themselves a lot. I do that on my own. I'm constantly arguing with myself and I have this inner monologue that... <sighs> what are you gonna do? We all have quirks. Okay, now she's getting pretty grody. Um, as you can hear, my throat hurts. I apologize. It's a little, my voice is a little gravelly again. Um, so, let's see. Is the bathroom free right now? Ooh, let's see. Let's see. See if you can use the bathroom. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, yes. Advantage Judy. There we go. I think we may just have hit a window where nobody wanted to use the bathroom, which is amazing, because it doesn't happen. Okay, and she is... No, you're not. You're gonna go to work. There you go. Okay, now Bart is learning gardening. That's gonna be great, because think of it from a therapeutic standpoint. If they can all work on their gardening, work on their athletic... And, oh, I think she's going to get into the pool. So we're going to see what happens here. Because if they can use the pool, then I'm going to have to change it. Yeah, they can. I thought... So, yeah, I'll have to take out the... The, um... Board and the... The, um... Jeez. Wow. And the stairs. And then put maybe a little fence around it. Um... And I can't click on her to make her get out, so hopefully she can get out. Um, another part of the thing, <laughs> it's like thinking of whether or not she can get out. I think she can, though. Um, yes, if any of the Sims die, they count against my point total at the end. There is a point total, which I will explain later because it's not re uh, relevant right now. Um, yeah, so they're able to use that. Okay, crap. Um, so anyway, yes, but if any of the Sims die... For everyone that does, I remove one bed and one chair. And that continues until there's only one left of each. So one chair left, one chair left, uh, and one bed left. There can't be any fewer than that. But, yes, every time a sim dies, that's what will happen. I'll be penalized by losing places for them to sleep and sit, thereby making it more difficult for my sim to sleep and sit. So, as you can see, it's it's actually important for me to keep them alive as well and keep them happy and healthy. Um, yeah. I really don't want to get rid of the the basketball hoop though. So, I will between or off off camera, I will do something to make it so that they can't swim in that anymore. Um I thought the fence would work, but it doesn't. Okay, so everybody is arguing and being a bunch of work. <laughs> this is just a bunch of high maintenance, spoiled individuals who are overstressed in a country um, retreat that uh, offers them little in the way of stimulation. 
and crappy amenities and no safety features so that OSHA would probably frown on it. So what could go wrong? I don't think anything could go wrong. That doesn't make any sense. Nothing could go wrong at all. So <laughs> that's what we're dealing with here. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Yeah, the bills are very, very high. So what we're going to do is... Um, as I explained before, I'm going to pause it really quickly. As I explained before, because I wanted to use this this big house and I wanted it to be furnished, which isn't against the rules of the actual um, LP. Like, normally what you would do is you wouldn't have these upper rooms furnished. But for the story purposes of what I want to do, um, yeah, for, for those story purposes, I want these rooms to be furnished. So, if it gets to be too much, I won't. But what's going to happen is... I will, um, I'll use a cheat to pay the bills, and then, um, after I do that, let's go back, yeah, I'll use a cheat to pay the bills, and after I do that, that will leave her with, let's say, we'll leave her with 78 simoleons, and she can build from there, but yes, this is a very expensive house, so I may have to reevaluate that approach and I may just have to get rid of all the furniture upstairs because that's essentially what we're paying for. Um, but like I said, this is new, this is experimental for me, and I'm not, this isn't something I typically do, so. What do we have in the refrigerator? We have autumn salad prepared by Roosevelt. Oh no, I think it was prepared by Bart, yeah. So, that's cool. We've got a sim who's taking an interest in cooking. It looks like it's gonna rain outside. Well, it's 627. Okay. Um, hawking the foam finger. Selling food and merchandise throughout the stadium is no simple task. Your boss wants you to read making the sale from hot dogs to foam fingers to, com uh, to complement your on-the-job training. Taking the time to read this book will build favor with your boss and increase your job performance. Finish reading making the, making the sale from hot dogs to foam fingers to improve your job performance and relationship with your boss. Um, so, yes, we will do that. She has the book. She does work tomorrow, but she seems to be doing okay. Um, so, yes. What we may have to do is, um, either that or I'll actually, I might spend her initial lifetime reward points as much as I wouldn't want to on no bills ever. So I'll see, I'll see what works out to be most fair. That's no bills ever. Uh, thing, where is it? There we go. It's 15,000. I can conceive that she would actually get that soon, so I'm totally willing to spend her points on that. However, you know, I don't necessarily know if that's in the spirit of things. So, I think the best thing to do would be to pay the bills, you know, this time, and then maybe remove some of that upstairs furniture, see if they go down, and then judge it from there. I, I have to find a formula that says exactly how bills are calculated. I bet you there's one out there. Alright, so she is going to be out of work soon. Let's zip this right ahead. What's everybody doing? Everybody's attracted to each other. <laughs> but since there aren't any double beds, I don't know if we can have any true in-house nookie unless they're going to use the shower or the haystack and it seems like nobody's ever able to uh, to do that. Okay, so Judy has left work today with 149 simoleons. Congratulations, Judy, Judy, okay, wow. Judy's impressive performance has earned her a promotion to toddler sports coach as well as a bonus of 300 simoleons. The players have, have unanimously picked you to lead their children to victory, and on the Little League playing fields as the toddler sports coach. You should study up on athletics so that you can guide the, the tiny tots to tip-top physical efficiency and reduce on-field injuries. She now makes 33 simoleons per hour and works from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. But let's see what she actually needs. Um, she's going to have to boost her athletic. Other than that, she should be able to get another promotion pretty quickly. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to have her come home, eat autumn salad leftovers, and then she's going to actually, I'm just going to be a jerk, and have her go up here, relax on the bed, and start reading 
and then, um, come on, I'm just like watching it in fear that she won't be able to, to uh, snag a bed, because this would be the first time. Okay, so she's back, she's eating, and they are not happy with each other. Okay. She didn't pick up her plate. That wasn't very nice. But she's the sole breadwinner, so whatever. Okay, let's get her relaxing. Who's in here right now? Roosevelt's in here. Um, and while she's relaxing, she's going to read. She's soaking wet. Great. Um, read that. And then she can immediately go to sleep when she's done. Um, and that should boost her fun. I'm so sorry. Yep, see, I went ahead and clicked on another sim. I don't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, yep, I will get the hang of it. Alright, Leanne is taking a nap. And Joseph's being very nice and cleaning up. They're all being very, very helpful considering the situation. You know, they're arguing a lot and, and all of that, but they're being helpful. Um... Now the rain will water some of these plants automatically, which is nice, um, but not all of them. So we'll have to see. I think Bart was able to successfully save our um, bell pepper plants and our tomato plants. So you know maybe maybe Bart and Judy can can work at that together. Monica seems to enjoy gardening. And like I said before, from a therapeutic standpoint, it makes a lot of sense. Why wouldn't they gain relaxation and pleasure from from gardening and bringing, you know, bringing this wonderful food to their table and all of that? And it's going to save us money. <laughs> I, I won't lie. I'm happy about that. It will save us some money because they won't be paying for ingredients all the time. Um... So she's almost done reading, and after she's finished reading, we will call it a day. Let's see what everybody else is doing. Um, he's talking to the toilet again. Leanne is still napping. Oh, she just got up. Now he wants to nap, I think. And it's our first storm. So, yeah. We shall see. Um, and like I said, we'll figure out the thing with the bills. We'll figure out the thing with the pool, and, um, oh, she's arguing with the TV. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, she has finished reading. Her athletic isn't high enough yet, but the book is done. So that's good. All right, um, so we'll call it quits for now. I will see you next time in Let's Play The Sims 3 Asylum Challenge. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, please, uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you're so inclined. I look forward to hearing from you. And just be well. Thank you. Bye.